Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Marky. What's up guys? I'm showing you about 20 cars today that I picked up. And uh, starting with the Hot Wheels race team right here from Q Case, I found these new colors for the race team. They actually inverted the colors. It used to be orange on the bottom and blue on top. And they have reversed the colors. This one is the Indy 500 Oval, four of 10 in the Hot Wheels race team, number 195 for 2021. Hot Wheels 500. Logo right there on the side. We do have a driver in this car. Hot Wheels graphics logo, Hot Wheels logo right in the middle, the 500 right there. The Oval 500. So sweet. And like I said, this one was coming out in blue. And I do have the blue one here to show you. Same wheels, same logos. But you can see they reversed the colors. So cool. But now you can race them because now you have different colors. They stand out a little better on the track. So you'll be able to race these. And I do have a couple other ones. I have from the race day uh, series. They had released it in red or black and red or red and black, which is pretty cool. So you can have like a, if you catch, if you get this one, you can add to your race for the six lane, six lane track because you can also add the Indy 500 oval in pink this one came with a pink white and black combination or it's maybe it's a gray i don't know it's kind of hard to tell it looks like a, a darker color there but check it out so the uh, new one has a bunch of buddies now to hang out with <laughs> that's pretty neat and you can always add the uh, Formula E Gen 2 car to the race because these kind of fit in pretty cool. I do have a few of these in different colors. I just can't find them right now. I just grabbed the ones that were easier to reach without me having to dig through too many cases. But this is the uh, Formula E Gen 2. It fits right in with these guys. You can hang with the best of them. <laughs> pretty neat to have all these... Uh, Formula cars, and the Indy 500 cars, and race them, whatever, have, have some fun on the track. So pretty cool. I'm happy to have found a new uh, Q-Case car. And I did find another one, which is a Hot Wheels race team car, the 87 Dodge D100, <clears throat> which is really, really cool. And I don't think they had had, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't remember the... Uh, D100 being out recently, maybe it has, but I uh, just don't remember it being out as of too recently. So this is pretty cool that they're they're back with the D100. I do have an older D100 that I bought probably a couple years back. The 87 Dodge D100 K and N livery on it. It's kind of sim similar looking to this one, but not the same. Not the same at all. You can see. This one I picked up at Big Lots, and you can see uh, that they're similar in color, but not exactly the same. And of course, the livery is totally different. We have the Hot Wheels race team, and then on here we have, in the Speed Graphics series, the K&N livery on it. And I never did open this one. It's the only one I have. And for some reason, I never opened it. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Because I have too many cars. I already have a spot for him and <laughs> where to put him. So <laughs> I'm just going to put him right back where I found him. All right. These are pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, happy to show you that one. This is the brand new one you can get right now at uh, Walmart stores. And it's got the uh, Goodyear logo back here. Number one, Dodge. Hot Wheels, number one Dodge, I guess you can say. Great wheels on this one, the big rugged tires on it. The markings say 27 Mattel, 2017 Mattel 87 Dodge D100. Bunch of numbers and stuff. Made in Malaysia, Hot Wheels. P31 is the stamp. And what do we see for exhaust on this one? I don't see any details on the exhaust. We do have a nice scoop on the hood. Kind of all painted over in orange on the front. Then the plastic, uh, black plastic is showing up here. Nice bumper there. Rollover bar. We do have the light bar up here. Windshield uh, wipers. 
uh, molded in the die cast this time. You can see that there. How they're molded in the die cast. Got some vents there. A nice uh, see-through glass on this one. Look at that scoop. Nice and big scoop there. Beautiful Hot Wheels logo on the side. I love it. I love it. It looks really good. It's, the colors are original to the uh, original series, which looks really awesome. And then we do have a big fat tire there in the back. Left side driver, no mirrors on the side. We do have a black interior with a console. Cool bucket seats on this one. Very cool, D100, looks really, really nice. I like it, I like it. So these so far, pretty exciting finds. And I finally completed the set for, I have all these, I've shown you these before, but finally got the Superbird to add to the set. So this set is now complete. We got Superbird. And back here you can see little logo there. Get them, get them out of the package. It's a really cool set from the Hot Wheels, by the way. Hot Wheels Premium. And it's for the Hot Wheels Boulevard. And you can see the two-door vehicle with the uh, handles painted in silver. Plymouth name back, back here. And there are the details in the back for the little... Uh, Little graphics there, kind of hard to see, very small. But we do have the lights there on the back. This is all metal on the bottom, very, very heavy. And with this wing and everything, super, super heavy car. Made in Thailand, the Plymouth Superbird. You can see that it's all metal on the base there, on the bottom. We do have some exhaust showing here. On the back, a little spot for the license plate too. Plymouth name right there. Lock and key thing there. Little lock for the trunk or, or is that access to the gasoline? Hmm, that might be the access to the gas. That little round circle there. And uh, we do have the little vents on the side, little lights front and back. Rubber tires on this one. And they look like slicks with the uh, beautiful chrome colored uh, mags. Or rims very very nice black top here with a silver trim nice 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 we do have the windshield wipers there painted over in silver at least that's what it looks like maybe they're not maybe they're not wipers but it looks like they are and we do have some locks here on the uh, hood check these out on the sides a lot of nice details on this one we do have the black area in front little stripe and the metal Showing here on the bottom, spoiler. Pretty sweet looking. See how that front end looks? That spoiler right there. So awesome. Very, very nice. I like it. Looks really cool. So this set is complete. Uh, Hot Wheels Boulevard, and for some reason it has a number 33 on here, metal on metal, and yeah, so I'm going to add him to the Volkswagen, the Pontiac GTO, the DeLorean, and the Nova. Now, the set is complete, so, so nice. I also picked up these uh, really cool cars, die-cast cars by Maisto or Maisto, Fresh Metal, Get this one out. Die cast on the top for the chassis and plastic on the base. This one is marked 2009 Nissan 37, 370Z. And I don't see a scale marked under here. May still made in China. We do have some side view mirrors on this one. Nice pearl, metallic pearl color. And there's the front end. There we go. Now you can see the Nissan name there on the front. I wish that was painted in black there, but we do have the lights painted. That's pretty cool. We do have wipers on the windshield. Two-door car. These don't roll as nice as a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. You can tell that they don't want to spin that much. <laughs> And there's some nice markings on the base here. I mean, on the back, on the tail here. Nissan 370Z 
You have the lights, the exhaust showing, the little tail, the gas axis right here. Pretty cool. The tires and the wheels are all the same size. Some little details under here. You can see the exhaust there showing on the back and here. Very cool. Let's see how he rolls. Let's see if he does roll good or not. Not too bad. I'm sure he can't beat a Hot Wheels though. <laughs> and I also got this one. The uh, Maisto version of their Volkswagen. Let's see what it's marked as on the base here. They have it marked as the Volkswagen New Beetle. And no uh, reference to size or scale. Same size tires and wheels with the uh, chrome wheels there. Do have the back rolled back. I mean the top rolled back in the plastic. Nice interior on this one. Really nice steering wheel. Actually like that steering wheel. That has a lot of detail to it. Very cool console. Pretty nice. We do have the visors molded in the metal right there. Big windshield. You can see right through there. We have the windshield wipers in there. Very, very interesting. Kind of cool. I like picking up these oddball uh, cars. Volkswagen badge in the middle, a couple lights. Two doors, bucket seats and separated seats in the back, a little divided there. <clears throat> we do have another badge back here. Pretty neat, no license plate. They didn't add any extra different colors for the lights. And uh, down here we do have some indication for the exhaust coming all the way down and showing back here. Pretty cool. These will display pretty neat. Have these two. I have a couple more of these. Have this really cool truck. Pretty neat. Again from the same brand and comes in a really nice color. I like the blue on this one. Got a nice Chevy logo on the front there. The lights are painted in, that's cool. The grill is chrome, all plastic chrome on the bottom. Oh no, only on the front and on the back. The, ba the base is black. It says 1957 Chevy pickup, used under license. And I don't see any details for the exhaust. Let me see, maybe back here. A little something going on here, I don't know what that is. Chevrolet on the gate. That looks cool. I do like the uh, I do like the uh, the bumper here in chrome. I like that they didn't do everything in chrome, just the bumper, so it really stands out nice. Pretty neat. And the bed is all plastic, but the color matches so well. This is all like a die cast here in the front. And then this part here is plastic. This is all plastic right here. You can see the difference, the metal and the plastic. They really tricked me with this one because I had no idea till now. I thought it was all metal. <laughs> so the cab is metal and the front end here is all metal. All die cast and then the plastic uh, bed, plastic fenders. They really tricked me on this one. <laughs> well, that's another one of those. Oh, I got a couple more. Might as well show all these, uh, this brand all together. I got this one right here. And let's see what this one says on the base. Nineteen sixty nine Dodge Charger RT. So it's a nineteen sixty nine. Same size tires and wheels all around. A nice glossy yellow color. And the beautiful black stripe in the back with the RT on it. I like that very much. I like this. They wrote the name Charger on there. In silver. That looks really cool. Oh, the front end looks really nice. Has the Dodge plate. Check out the lights and the bumper painted in. The grill. Oh, wow. That looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. These are a dollar at the uh, dollar store. They have them. These are at the Dollar Tree. Check it out. Dodge plate. All these uh, maestos I found at the uh, Dollar Tree, the maestos or maestos. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but uh, Dollar Tree. No mirrors on this one. 
We do have windshield wipers molded in the glass. We do have the lock and key uh, hole right there with the uh, handles painted over in yellow. I like the details on the front and the back end. Kind of looks pretty nice. Pretty cool. So I think they did a, a good job on this one. Pretty good. It's a don't know much about this brand. I do have I have picked up older models, older older from this brand years ago. I keep uh, finding like oddball cars, and if I'm not if I can afford it at the time, I'll buy them. If not, I usually go with Matchbox and Hot Wheels, which are my favorite. Sometimes if I see some that I like, I'll grab them because I like these oddball brands are kind of strange, not as popular brands. They have some different takes on models and it's pretty cool. At least to me, I just love these uh, die-cast cars. So. I'll buy all kinds of brands. Pretty cool. I like the uh, details on this one. Details on the back there. I love. I like the uh, bumper a lot. Wish they had given us some colors on the brakes. It's a nice uh, black with the die cast metal, and the same deal on this one. It looks like it's half die cast. All the orange is die cast. The black is all plastic. Isn't that something? <laughs> Pretty clever how they did that, marrying two different materials there. The front end looks really good. The grill and the bumper and then the lights painted in, the Chevrolet logo. That looks really cool and I like the hood ornament. Very cool. The color is pretty nice too. The uh, windshield wipers are there molded in the glass. I mean in the uh, die cast, I'm sorry. You can see that there. Pretty awesome. It looks really good. It looks really good. So I have these, and let's see what else did I get. Oh, I got this one. I finally completed another Hot Wheels set. Well, actually, no, I I didn't complete it. I just got one more <laughs> that I needed. Uh, the spider. I didn't have this um, Porsche Boxster spider, and I'm so glad to get it because this is a pretty big set. The uh, convertible set. Three, six, nine, ten. So it's ten of them, and I haven't found the Pagani, and I hadn't found the Porsche. So I finally got the Porsche. Let me see. I have all these, and I have all these, and I have the the Jaguar. So I'm now I'm just missing the the Pagani. So I finally got one more to add to this uh, awesome set, and I really like the card on this one. Look, I'll show you that in a bit. Here's the top view. It's a beautiful Hot Wheels. I love, I love this set of convertibles. It's so cool to collect these. They all come with very colorful cards. The backing cards are just amazing. Check out the front end on this one. Let's get closer. Be a little bit closer. Here we go. A couple scratches on the nose there. Maybe some dirt. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's just dirt. No scratch. All right, that looks better. And we have the badge, the eyes look, the uh, eyes, the, <laughs> the eyes, <laughs> the lights look amazing. They really do. They have all the colors in there, the white, the gray, the silver, the black. The badge looks cool and they centered it pretty good. We do have the wipers on the glass, no mirrors on the side. We do have some lights painted on the front for the parking in silver. The little turn signal or parking lights. The wheels are blacked out and the handles on the doors are painted over in white. And the Porsche name there on the door, so awesome with the triple stripe heading down all the way across. Really nice wheels on this one. All blacked out, looks like the 10 or the 12 spokes. And we do have a left side driver. Nice uh, dashboard, beautiful seats, nice console. Beautiful shape on this spider. Look at the lines on this car. Nice uh, exhaust showing there on the back. Great details on this one. Cast it in the uh, metal. So good, so good. And on the base, we can see the exhaust over here. A little something going on there. Made in Malaysia, the Hot Wheels logo, P08 stamp there, the Porsche Boxster Spider. Copyright 2012, 2012 Mattel. 
And the wheels and tires are all the same size. Size. Pretty nice. I love the card on this one. This one is 8 of 10. And you can see how beautiful that card looks. Look at that. They all come with their matching artwork. So you'll have each car, which is which is with the same car on the card. So it's so, so cool. What a cool set. And they fit in with the uh, blue cards. They're the same size as the blue card main line. So that's perfect. And there they are again if you want to. Take a screenshot, find those, go hunting. <laughs> now you know what to look for. I also found another Hot Wheels, this time the Batman. <clears throat> Batman, the Brave and the Bold. This is a series of fives, one of five. I had found previously two others, which are right here. And I still needed to find these three, so I got one more. I got this Batmobile right here from Brave and the Bold. I was actually collecting these action figures. I have them, so this is a pretty cool set for me because I was watching the uh, show, trying to follow it, and uh, I think I kind of lost interest and uh, never watched all of it, but I, I wouldn't mind catching up with it. It's just kind of like get sidetracked and start doing other things and forget about it. But it's a pretty cool show, and uh, one of my favorite ones was The Batman from the WB. I really like that animation, how they did that one. Uh, of course, the old... Animated series is really cool. I can't wait to find the other two that I'm missing, which are these two here, I think. And I did find that one and that one, and now this one here. So I just need two more. If you're looking for them, here they are. If you haven't seen them, I mean. And these are available, still available at Walmart. So if you can come across them, <clears throat> just keep going to the store until you find them. And you can see this one comes in a nice glossy gray with a light blue and then a darker blue outline on the stripes. Looks really cool. I love the little little canopies or domes. Looks really cool. Check out the big wings in the back. And the way they did the tampo kind of looks like his cape. The wheels are really nice with the same kind of blue tones from the stripes. And we do have the back cowl right in the front. Isn't that cool? Big fenders coming down, giving you that bat shape. It's pretty nice. Oh, wow, double engines. Look at that. Pretty, pretty cool. So I have this one, Batman the Animated Series, and the Michael Keaton Bat Batmobile. So let me see which ones am I missing. Um, hmm. Okay, these two. Yeah, yeah, these two. Awesome. I can't wait to find those. I'm sure I will find them. Just got to keep looking. And uh, I'll find them. I do have a few different Walmarts that I can hit, so... I'll be looking for these, trying to complete the set, hopefully soon. But uh, you never know. You just never know when you're going to find them. Sometimes <laughs> series that I can't complete in, in the year... I'll find them the next year. <laughs> it's weird how that happens. It's weird how that happens, for real. So there we go. I have three really cool Batmobiles now. Just can't wait to get the other two. And that's going to be exciting when I find those. I also picked up some Matchbox. More retro series, guys. This is weird because these are, like, older, I think. The Express Delivery. Let me see. This one is marked 2020. And it's from an assortment that I had found this van from before. I think that's the only one I found <clears throat> from this series. And I was bummed out that I never found the rest. And look, now I picked up uh, this one right here. Express <clears throat> delivery. And I got that other truck that's showing there. Well, this one is all plastic on top. The metal is on the base. Frank and Bernard's Psychorama. This one on the card is called the Express Delivery. You can see up here, Express Delivery. Pretty cool. I love this uh, Target Retro Series. Just love these. The more I can find, the better. <laughs> I just love them. I want to collect them all, but they've been tough to find. And I have not been able to collect any of the uh, 
series completely every year the 24 that come out i just find a bunch of them but not all of them so i haven't had that luck to complete the whole the whole 24 maybe this uh, time around they'll start to appear who knows check out the back has a lot of detail casted in the plastic in the plastic mold i like the the uh the temple work on this is so cool and that looks like the s for schwinn for the older Schwins. We have all types of bikes, BMX, road, vintage, and custom. Jam Session, Delta Boy, Killer Diller, and the M for Matchbox. And what else does it say there? Oh, Matchbox qual Quality, Frank and Bernard's Cycle Rama since 2006. Very, very cool truck. Light uh, blue with the pink, nice combination. We do have those doors on the sides. You can walk right in. I used to work in a big truck, on a big truck like this. Kind of looked like a UPS truck, but the really old ones. And the company had a big one and a small one. We used to call the big one the monster. And the little one, we used to call him the little monster. <laughs> little monster and big monster. Wow, look at that. Do you have the wipers molded on the glass? That's pretty cool. A different color for the grill here or whatever this front part here. Doesn't look like a grill, but some lights or something. It's kind of like a silver. This is chrome here or uh, die cast metal. Just the plain die cast all buffed out. Very nice. Express delivery, just like on the card marked on the bottom here. Check out the big giant muffler here and the exhaust showing here on the side. Can you, can you see it? Yeah, you can. It's right there. Right in front of the back wheel. PO3 stamped on the base. Copyright 2014 and 2020, made in Thailand. Pretty awesome. I'm loving this one. And then I have this other retro series, the Wildfire Rescue Truck. 23 of 24, and the other one was 24 of 24. So these are the last of one of the series. Now I gotta see where they fit in my collection. So I know I don't have any of those, I think. I just got these two. I know I have the van in green. Oh, here it is. Here's the green van, which I had bought previously. The Matchbox banner, which is really cool. I'll show you that in a second. And then now I just got the Wildfire rescue truck. And they're using it as the Termite Terminators. <laughs> and you can see it has a tank back here, a chainsaw, a couple of jerry cans. Nice back end with a lot of clocks and gauges and whatever. Some extra equipment there. Chrome orange on the wheels. It is a nice white, glossy white color. Gray interior. Black front end. The grill, everything is all plastic. The lights but look pretty nice. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's check out the, uh, the base real quick. Matchbox, Wildfire Rescue, made in Thailand, 2017. We do have little mirrors on the side here. Oh, only on one side, Not on the driver's side. There's nothing here. No windshield, you can put your finger right through there. No glass in the back at, at all, and no doors, all open. It is heavy though, there's a lot of, a lot of die casts on here. You can feel the weight. The base, of course, is all plastic. And it is marked 164. Look at that. I didn't even notice. 164 over here in the corner. Here's a little elephant for Thailand. Made in Thailand. Hello, Thailand. If you're there, leave a comment. What's going on, Thailand? Check out, we have do, we do have the uh, light bar on top. A couple other lights. Lights there. And this one here. A little bump might be like a little antenna or something. Very cool, very cool. So I have this one here, the Matchbox banner. This one's really heavy. A lot of die casts on here. Wow, you can feel it. Also, uh, plastic base and chrome. Custom 95 Chevy van. So it's a 1995 van. Do have the uh, windshield wipers molded on the glass there. A nice chrome front end. Mirrors on the sides. We have these little extra mirrors or lights. I don't know, it looks like it might be lights light bar on top 
do have a side door here, which is really strange. And another compartment over here. Big tire on the back and some other <clears throat> equipment on there tied up. Looks like it might be some jerry cans, maybe. Gold wheels on this one. Plastic base. Sunroof. And this side is different. It has the two windows over here. Double door. Over here, just a single door. And no windows on the side. Pretty neat. A lot of details to his uh, van. This one is copyrighted 2016. So I have these three from that uh, from that mix <clears throat> or um, assortment. So I got to find this Pontiac, this Datsun. I don't think I have them. I don't remember having those. The Lamborghini and this Cherokee. This one looks familiar. I wonder if I do have that. I might have the Cherokee. I'm not, I'm not sure, guys. Kind of hard to remember with all the cars I'm always buying. <laughs> Plus, you know, you look at the pictures and you think you have it, you don't have it. You never know. <laughs> all right, these are pretty cool. I'm loving these. So more to add to that collection. And I wanted to show you some of these uh, really cool. Since I picked up some dollar store Maisto cars, I was like looking through my things where I was going to put them. And guess what? I uh, I don't know if I've shown these before, but I have picked up these really oddball, cool sets at the dollar store way, I mean, a while back. And they come with signs and whatnot, barrel, little cool stuff. I never did open it, didn't know. Um, I don't know, just never, never opened it for some reason. I, really, I don't really know why. Maybe I forgot about it for a while, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, this has been in my, my collection for a while. And I have this one, which is really cool. And this one right here, the Fire and Rescue Service. These are called the uh, City AP Set. AP Fun Set. So it's a City Fun Set. Or maybe you can say eight, eight pieces. It's just something extra. City Fun Set It's probably the name. And I think these were from Dollar Tree. Same place where I found those maestos. And uh, pretty cool. They do say die-cast metal, and I don't know how much of it is die-cast. It looks like probably the cab. It says die-cast metal and plastic. And the back of the card looks just like this. Yeah, Greenbrier. So that's, uh, that's the uh, brand that uh, supplies the dollar store here, the Dollar Tree here in America. And these are pretty cool. I thought you guys might like to take a look at these. And uh, if you need any of those signs or anything like that, you might want to pick these up. I don't know if they still have them available, but they kind of like reuse these and package them in different ways. I recently picked up some other sets that look similar, so I don't know. They do have signs and stuff like that, so you can find them at Dollar Tree or similar items at Dollar Tree. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I'll see you guys in the next one.